Hey guys, today you can see our ingredients. Now, you might have already guessed it, but we're making pancakes. Someone had asked us to make them, and we heard them. We listened to their voice. So if you want us to cook something, just type it in the description comments below, and then we'll try and make it. But if it's, okay. no, we'll just get right into the video. Shoot, child. Can't be in the video. Okay, so our ingredients are eggs, milk, butter. Is this white sugar or brown sugar? That's brown sugar. You don't want that. You want white sugar. Not that I'm being racist. It's just the recipe calls for the dish. Okay, then flour, baking powder, idolized salt. Or it doesn't have to be idolized, it just has to be salt. Now, you're gonna go grab yourself a large bowl. This is pretty large, I'd say. And mix together your ingredients. Not all of them, though. You just put a few, then mix it out. Those, check our recipe. Flour. Okay, that's one cup. Now I'm gonna try and open your flour. Yeah. Okay. I like so. Get out. Flour away. That's a Three and a half. Three and a half teaspoons. So here's uh, two and a half. I might have a different measure thing, but this is mine. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. That's because I woke up like 30 minutes ago. I know this recipe by heart. Salt and sugar. You want, where's the salt? Where's the salt? One teaspoon salt and then three tablespoons. You're gonna take this, your salt. Got one teaspoon. Oh no. Okay, that didn't happen. We won't talk about that. Okay. First try. Then your butter. Three and a half teaspoons. 
What? No, that's baking powder. You want three tablespoons. Three tablespoons is... Okay. You're gonna take a chunk of butter about this size and put that in there. Then, take it. The butter. And then, you gotta mix it all together. So you got your mixer right here. Now to mix it, all you do is press this button right there. And then you go in here, mix it, mix it, mix it up, 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 mix it up. You're just gonna mix that all together until it's nice and mixed up. Now I'm mixing it up pretty good, but you might want to mix it up more. You just want to mix it up until it's all mixed up and it can't be mixed up anymore. So just mix it up for about two minutes and then you're done mixing it up. Yeah. Now mixing it up is a hard process because first you got to mix it up, then you got to mix it up some more, then you got to mix it up some more. And that, oh wait, I'm not sure you can even see it that entire time. I'm going to mix it up some more, mix it up some more, mix it up some more. And we're going to say that's about good right there. Now you can make sure you have all your recipe right there. Okay. Put that in the sink. Hope the salmon doesn't eat it. Then... I forgot to put the sugar in. <laughs> so... One tablespoon sugar. Not too much sugar. Alright, and then I'm just going to hand mix this. That's not hand mixing. Hand mixing is when you use your hand. So we're going to hand mix it. Ooh, that's a chocolate butter. Hand mix it all together. I'm going to hand, hand mix it all. Like so. Make sure there aren't big chunks of butter in there. Like right here, this is just a huge chunk of butter. Let's get rid of those. Thing out like this. Like that, and then pour in your milk and egg, I think. I'll just double check. I was not supposed to put the butter in, but I don't think it really matters because it just makes it all together. But, I don't know. One and a half cups of this milk. We're just gonna blind guess it here. About right there. Um, that's pretty close. About two cups. But you only want one and a half. About like that. You can go take care of your milk now. Mix it up again. Yep, you're gonna mix it until smooth. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. You go like this, and like this, that, and that. 
Remember guys, if you ever want me to cook anything, just comment down in the comment section what you want us to cook. And we will try and cook it. Now we're gonna take care of this pan thing. Put some butter on there. That way your pancakes don't stick. By the way, pancakes is Spanish for pancake. Just telling you that. So you know I'm not that stupid. I know some stuff. Okay. Now, you're gonna pour a little bit of batter into your pan. Now this is still a little bit chunky because I forgot to melt the butter. You might wanna melt the butter before you put it in your pancakes. Okay. Now normally I add something like chocolate chips or crispy oats on top of my pancakes. Few of those here and there, everywhere. Cool. Okay. I need one more. Okay. I just add nine there. So it's big there. You're gonna also need a flippy thing. And wait for one side to cook, then flip it over up into the air, cook the other side. Then enjoy. By the way, I forgot to mention, in case you didn't know, to tell if your pancakes are kind of ready to be flipped, it'll kind of like puff up a little. There will be a few air bubbles like that. So you can tell this is pretty close to being ready to flip. Also, it might look like that, but then when you're ready to flip it, the bottom is still like whitish. That means it's not ready. Wait, wait, wait. Are you ready for this? Ooh! No, no, no. Oh, I didn't flip again. I need to butter my pan. Okay. It was worth that, I think, though. Would have looked cool. Guys and girls, I just had a awesome idea. We're gonna add some food coloring for drops. That should be. I know. I don't want to just like that.